So good afternoon. My topic is mycotoxin. So we're going to see what is actually mycotoxin is. In the first slide, I've just added the structure of mycotoxin. You can have a look on that. And next is actually what are the contents have been posted in the slide I've listed here, like introduction, history, epidemiology, types, deduction of mycotoxin, prevention and control, and treatment. So the first slide is about the introduction. Mycotoxins are naturally occurring toxins produced by certain molds, fungi, and can be found in food. The molds grow on a variety of different crops and foodstuffs, including towels, nuts, spices, dried fruits, apples, and coffee beans, often under warm and humid conditions. Mycotoxins can cause a variety of adverse health effects and possess a serious health threat to both humans and livestock. The adverse health effects of mycotoxins range from acute poisoning to long-term effects such as immune deficiency and cancer. History. An outbreak of aflatoxicosis was reported in 1974 in adjoining districts of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Stasi boitriotoxicosis killed thousands of asses in 1930s in USSR. So it is actually a mycotoxin found in grains that has been eaten by us. In 1960, aflatoxicosis alone killed about a lakh in Turk in the UK. From 1960 to 1971, US military spread millions of litter of toxic herbicides to destroy the vegetation used by Hello? Ma ah, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma. To destroy the vegetation solely in this thing. Okay, ma. History. An outbreak of aflatoxicosis was reported in 1974 in adjoining districts of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Stasi toxicosis killed thousands of asses in 1930s in USSR. In 1960, aflatoxicosis killed alone about a lakh in Turks in the UK. From 1960 to 1971, US military spread millions of liters of toxic herbicides to destroy the vegetation. Epidemiology. Food stored for longer periods give fungi a greater opportunity to contaminate it. Seen to be a significant cause of death in developed countries. Based on the data given by Pitt and colleagues, it was seen that a number of deaths caused by liver cancer were due to aflatoxin in Indonesia. So Pitt and colleagues is actually a person who written book on medical microbiology. Acute fatalities have been reported in India caused by aflatoxin poisoning due to unseasonal rains. The various types. The effect produced by fungi and their metabolites are categorized into two headings, mycotoxicosis and mystemesis. So mystemesis is nothing but that's been caused by eating mushrooms. So more focus has been uh, on mycotoxicosis. So let's see what is actually that. Defined as illness of man or damaged animal due to the ingestion of preformed substances on a particular foodstuffs. Consumption of these toxins lead to fatal consequences. Most of the significant fungi producing mycotoxicosis mainly belongs to the toxigenic species of genera Aspergillum, Fu Fusarium, and Penicillium. Out of all the mycotoxins, aflatoxin, furium toxin, and octotoxin are considered to be significant in humans and animals. Production of mycotoxins depend upon Factors like temperature, moisture, aeration, and substrate on which the fungus is growing. Most of the reported outbreaks of mycotoxicosis were found to be as a consequence to consumption of food that is contaminated with mycotoxins. There are four basic types, acute, chronic, mutagenic, which actually causes cancer muta mutating agents, and tetra 
ectogenic, which actually cause infection in the uh, child, which has been bear by the mother. So these are few medically important mycotoxins which produce distinctive disease in man and animals. So we're going to see each one in the next slides. So first one is aflatoxin, fumonosins, psychothesins, ochotoxin, cyclopyzonic acid, xerolonin, paltuvin. So aflatoxicosin, secondary metabolites produced by asperilgum falvus, but discovered as a strange manifestation of a mysterious disease called Turk A, I'm sorry, Turk X disease, shows presence of B1, B2, G1, and G2 on the basis of their metabolites, which exhibit blue and green fluorescence when irritated under ultraviolet light on thin chromatography plates. They can be modified by biotransformation, example, formation of hydroxylated derivatives of aflatoxin, B1, B2 as aflatoxin, M1 and M2 respectively. These are actual pictures how it looks like if a mycotoxin effect has been found in peanut and mice. I've just shown an example how it looks like. Clinical manifestation, aflatoxicosis, two forms are identified, acute severe intoxication which results in direct liver damage and subsequent illness or death. Chronic subsymptomatic aflatoxicosis, symptom lethargy, anorexia and muscle weakness and spasm. Other manifestations include fever, jaundice, hepatomegaly, acetesis, portal hypertension, pedal edema and eventually death. So one of the common syndrome we see is waste syndrome in which patient present with signs and symptoms of encephalopathy and fatty degeneration of viscera, endemic disease of children in developing countries, also responsible for implicating outbreaks of hepatitis. Indian children cirrhosis is also caused by aflatoxins. Prevention, detoxification, hydrated sodium calcium amino silicate HSCAS can absorb aflatoxin along with the support of vitamin E and selenium. Prevention, mold, mold incubator, treatment of grain with androus ammonia for 10 to 14 days. Clinical symptoms, loss of weight, loss of appetite, weakness, vomiting, diarrhea, dehydration, depression, convolution, and leads to death. Cora poisoning. Toxic syndrome in cattle and man often encountered in areas where coda millet seed is consumed as a staple food by poor people in several regions of India. So it's actually staple food is they actually consume it as a regular routine food. Eating of this grain results in giddiness, sleepness, and tremors recurring after one to three days. Bioterrorism. So, as we already seen in the ST, they usually used to spray a million liters of uh, this uh, mycotoxin to kill the vegetation. So, they are now using it in uh, terrorism activities also. Mycotoxins can be used as chemical warfare agents. There is considerable evidence that Iraqi scientists developed aflatoxin as a part of their bioweapon program during the 1980s. Aflatoxins seem a curious choice for chemical warfare because the induction of liver cancer is hardly a knock punch on the battlefield. Unlike the aflatoxin, trichothesins can act immediately upon act contact and exposure to a few milligrams of T2 is potentially lethal. So it usually causes death more frequently than aflatoxin. Detection and screening of mycotoxin. So there are actually various methods by which we can detect the presence of mycotoxin in foodstuffs. Some is like, because many steps are involved in the analysis, it is not common that analytical error can amount to 20 to 30 percentage. To obtain reliable analytical data, an adequate sampling program and an accurate analytical method are both important. To minimize the errors, studies have led to many improved and innovative analytical methods for mycotoxin analysis over the years.
new more sensitive methods have been introduced like uh, tin layer chromatography hplc high pressure liquid chromatography and gas liquid chromatography techniques are now available helisa enzyme linked immunosorbent assay and radio immuno assay spectrophotometry tissue culture which involves primary fetal bovine kidney cells newer techniques have been used which includes pattern of isoenzyme electrophoresis dna dna homology restriction fragment length polymorphism so these are the techniques that's been used nowadays preventive measures management of mycotoxin contamination so how we are going to contaminate oh, i'm sorry how we are going to prevent the contamination so the economic implication of the tox mycotoxin problem and its potential health threats to humans have clearly created a need to eliminate or at least minimize mycotoxin contamination of food and fat while an association between mycotoxin contamination and inadequate storage condition has long been recognized treatment the main treatment is vigorous intravenous fluid replacement and correction of electrolyte disturbance and homeopathy hemodilation and hemoperfusion may be effective in removing toxin if initiated within 24 hours of intake atropin is useful in mysticismus involving peripheral nervous system in muscoin poisoning corticosteroids may prove useful and such patient should be given trials thank you